In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a free SSL certificate for a website on Rocky Linux that is running on top of an Nginx web server. And the way we're going to do this is with CertBot, which automatically issues free SSL certificates from Let's Encrypt. So that might sound like a lot, but it's actually pretty straightforward to do. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do. So let's go ahead and do it. Um, I'm logged into the server that's associated with Tony's store, tonys.store, and that's right here. Um, it's only on HTTP right now. If I try to go to HTTPS colon slash slash Tony store, uh, it's not going to work, right? There's no um, SSL certificate on this server. And just to prove that it is running Nginx, we will go to tools, site health, info, and server and you'll see that the web server is Nginx. So let's go ahead and install an SSL certificate. Now I'm logged in here, and what we're gonna do is use the DNF package manager to install something called EPEL-release, and that stands for Extra Packages for Enterprise Linux. So it's not big at all. We will uh, type Y, hit enter to install that. And after that's done, we're going to do a proper DNF upgrade, um, which depending on how recently you've done that, uh, this shouldn't take too long um, upgrade. Uh, it'll just go ahead and look at the EPEL uh, repo and do what it needs to do for that. So let's just fast forward through this. Okay, and now that that is installed, we will install a package manager called Snap and we're going to use snap to install certbot. So the reason we're kind of doing this, um, setting it up in this way is because when you use snap to install certbot and issue your SSL certificate, it will automatically renew it for you every three months. And that's very important. This is kind of like a set it and forget it uh, kind of thing. So um, let me show you how that works. So let's go ahead and do DNF install snap D and that'll be 21 megabytes, so type Y, hit enter, and that is indeed looking at the extra packages for Enterprise Linux, so we will say Y, hit enter, and now that snap is installed, let's enable it with system CTL enable, dash dash now, snap D dot socket. Okay, so there's a couple of other configuration steps we have to go through before, um, getting certbot. And the first is creating a symbolic link from var lib snapd slash snap to slash snap. And the next is snap install core. Okay, and finally snap refresh core. Okay, no updates available. That's good, we can go ahead and continue. So let's get certbot finally. Snap install dash dash classic certbot. Hit enter. And finally, once that's installed, let's create a symbolic link from snap bin certbot to user bin certbot. And let's go ahead and issue ourselves an SSL certificate. So um, my uh, my SSL configure or my conf my nginx configuration file exists at the let's just take a look at that the etc nginx conf d directory and in here there's a file called wordpress.conf and um oops there's no vim text editor on this system we'll just use vi um in here i have my server name as tony store in www tony store so certbot's going to look at your configuration files for any domain names and uh, i just want to make sure that you uh, have that set up properly for your configuration for your domain name Anyway, let's go ahead and do certbot dash dash nginx, and it's gonna go ahead and read those configuration files in the compd directory, or maybe you have a sites available directory. And it would help if I uh, spelled nginx, right? So n-g-i-n-x, like that. So certbot dash dash nginx, and it's asking for an email for renewal notifications. So Tony teaches tech at gmail.com. Do you agree to the terms and service Type Y, hit enter. Do you want to receive additional emails? I'm gonna say no, hit enter. And it did read our Nginx configuration file and it found uh, Tony store and www.tonystore. I want an SSL for both of those. So 
I'm gonna, as it says here, um, leave input blank to select all options shown. So I'm just gonna say enter. And now it's requesting a certificate for Tony's store in www.tonys.store. All right, so the certificate was successfully issued. Uh, the actual, um, based on this configuration file, um, the actual certificate is at this location on our system and the key is at this location. And I just wanna show you, um, if we go back to the configuration file, that it modified it. It added this section down here uh, listen 443, that's the SSL port. Um, so all of this it added, which points to our key our key and our certificate. And then it took care of redirecting from na uh, from www to non-www and from unsecure to secure. So you can see that all happening here automatically for us. Uh, at this point, um, let's go to our web server and or our website i should say in a web browser and refresh the page to see if we are loading the ssl certificate and we see the lock icon here which is great that means we have a secure connection if we want to look at the uh, certificate we can do that right here so uh, if we look under trust or the details we'll see that this is indeed a let's encrypt certificate and it will expire in three months from now i'm going to show you how to verify that your certificate will automatically renew after that expiration date or actually before that expiration date but first uh, if you are on wordpress make sure you go into your uh, wordpress admin dashboard let me log in here and in here i just want to make sure that you update your urls so if you go to settings general make sure you uh, have https for your wordpress address and your site address so we'll save those changes and then you should be good to go. So anytime somebody goes to your website, if they go to www.tonys.store, they'll be redirected to tonys.store. And if they go to http tonys.store, they'll be redirected to the secure version of that. Now, like I promised, I wanna show you how you can verify that your um, certificate's gonna automatically renew. And we can look at the system CTL list timers. And you'll see here, let me make this actually a lot bigger and re-execute that command. So system CTL list timers, you'll see that one of our timers here is snap cert bot renew timer. And that's kind of why we went through that whole uh, process of installing snap package manager, because this will um, in two hours, in fact, check to see if we need a certificate renewal. And if we do, it will execute the this file right here. So if you look at ETC system D system snap certbot renew service, uh, which is directly corresponding to this, and then the timer with that is here. Um, let's see what it does. So that is going to execute everything at exe start, and it's going to run user bin snap um, and the certbot renew uh, uh, argument. So snap run with this timer serve bot renew and we can also look at, at the renew timer as well and that is going to happen every day at server time around 117 and at 1942. so you don't have to understand all that just know that if that if those files are in place and when you check the um list timers and you have the snap bot renew timer then you're good to go you shouldn't have to worry about ssl certificates anymore okay i want to thank you guys for watching i have a lot more videos for you to check out and uh thank you for watching subscribe i'll see you in the next one